Hello everyone, I'm Herod Malko Lover, and thank you for joining us here in my democratic campaign playing as Germany. So, um, I've got a few comments that maybe I should address first. So, first one, our armies are fairly slow. Yeah, totally. That's kind of the idea with super heavy tanks. I'm not planning on moving extremely quickly. As you can tell, it's already 1945, so my moves... I'm not here for quickness. There's no speed run for me. Um, if it was, we wouldn't be in 1945, still struggling against these guys. But, so right now I'm going to do some more fighter production, because that's pretty important to do. Important to do. Uh, actually, you know, Greece, you, you, got, you got some good stuff? Yeah, I'll take some of that good stuff. Um, oh, we should build some more stuff up, actually. If anything, yeah, we definitely want to build some more goodies up. We could t probably use more aluminum, to be honest with you. Yes, and maybe a little bit more aluminum, too. Uh, anything else anywhere nearby? We're building stuff in Danzig. Yeah, my armies are pretty slow. It's pretty normal. Um, yeah, just... I'm just doing this for fun, you know. I'm not here to be Mr. Superior to everyone. We're playing very democratically. Uh, other than that, let's let time go on. And my goal is still to destroy as many enemy divisions as possible. Mm. Joined here with a cup of good old German coffee and Herr Binky just walked in the room. Alright, Bink. You okay? Alright, we're I am currently letting all of my divisions get to the line, because they are reorganizing themselves. Come on. Come on, Bink. Alright, very nice. Let them get reorganized as our allies are attacking for some odd reason. Yes, and I do need to build more infrastructure up, but uh I can't always build it in places I would really like it. Now Danzig, yeah, we can build it up there. Poznan. Poznan. Eh. We really don't need to, so. Infantry looks pretty good so far. Tanks, let them move up, but we are missing quite a few tanks. Oops, I left it paused. The game does lag quite a bit, so. We want more super heavy tanks. Other than that, everything else can pretty much be left at the wayside. Yeah, we definitely want more super heavy tanks. Definitely. But do we have... How's our fighter production going? Looking pretty green. I like it. I like it. Um, I'd like more than one, please. Thank you. Um, yeah. Not looking great around here. Naval bombers. Fighter production has kind of been relegated to the bottom area here. Still making fighter ones? That's probably not ideal throw you right here. Production of my planes right now. Fighter 3s. So, are we upgrading things? We might be. What's this? A couple more convoys. Nice. No, upgrades are to the very bottom. Alright, and Binky's having one heck of a time with my clothes and on my bed. Cool. Maintenance companies. Fours. Just do that. Doesn't really matter. I want to get my tank some time to rest up and get ready for the next push, which I'm going to try to surround Lutz. I have no idea, no idea how to pronounce that. No idea. And that's okay. <clears throat> so, overall, what do we need for reinforcements? Oh, that's an empty coffee cup. Oh! Australia establishes sphere of influence. Independent treaty organization. Australia will seek allies to attempt to maintain stability in Southeast Asia Pacific region. And counter aggression against Australian state and others. Alright, cool. We need quite a bit more manpower, it looks like. And 103 ish super heavy tanks. So be it. So be it. Lithuanian Indonesian War. That's a very, very weird war. Just a little bit more time. What's going on down here? Did they form their own faction? Yes, they did. Oh my goodness. The Southwest Pacific Initiative. Holy cow. Oh, and the Allies are doing okay ish. Against the Japanese, who, are, who took Vladivostok. Ooh, Japan is looking kind of mighty surrounding the Empire of Manchuko. Next up, Republican Spain, still pretty large. Kind of hanging out. Yeah. Cool, so I had someone request that I should do... Uh oh uh, Australian campaign. In time, I will. I haven't actually yet to play Australia on my channel yet, and I will in time. So, new British Prime Minister Winston Churchill has announced the new government's intention to steer away from the course of appeasement. 
The UK's aim is to put a halt to the march of tyranny. They've thrown down the gauntlet? Guys, it's 1945. What have you guys been doing? Guys, wh who are you appeasing? Like, what the heck? Indian autonomy. Huh. Alright. Sanction Italy. War with Italy. I mean... You are taking forever. Maintain the balance of, balance of power. Maintaining imperial integrity. That does not sound good for us. And then the content continental intervention. So you want to go to war with me, the Soviet Union, France, and others. I'd, I'm not getting involved against the UK. No, that's not the scope of this campaign. No, 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 no. I am not interested. They're holding off relatively okay. I wish they were my puppets so I could help, like, make ports, and now they're all gonna die because they're gonna lose Leningrad. Oh my goodness, how's this going up here? It's going alright. Alright, tanks. As much as I know, you need to repair and stuff. You're gonna make a move. Make a move. Uh, send in the artillery first with half of you guys moving in. Then you will move further north and then further north and we'll see where we're at after that um, they cannot hold off against us which is great 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 awesome half a million casualties not bad 9.11 9.11 million all right wow look at those French tanks they're not doing so well check divisions not doing so well more check divisions not doing so well oh now I really should have built any more Heavy ships, we are... We don't have a ton of chromium. So, actually, we got 10 to build... Oh, ugh, cruisers takes... Everything takes chromium. Except for subs, which I need to make better. You know what? This is probably going to be a waste. I'm going to make you anyways, so that I can train you. You are going to move up this way as well. Help them out. Are we taking over river? No, we are not. Good. Bleed them dry. Good, good, good. Japan hasn't done that many casualties to the Soviets. Alright, very nice. Very nice. Keep moving up, guys. Keep moving up. Send half the... Oh, the infantry are already moving up that way. Nice. Send them that way as well. Cool. Right. Oh, we overran a division. Very good, very good, very good. Now, do that, and then we'll do that soon. Very soon. Uh, supply's not very good. So, if that's the case, immediately attack that way. The tanks will move up. The infantry will move up. No worries about that there. Give me half of you guys. Already move them up. We don't want to wait too long. Not a huge encirclement, but that's okay. Most encirclements will not be that huge. And immediately begin attacking that way if you can. Take half of you guys. Can you attack that direction? Yes, you can. Good. That's only 8 plus 5 is 13 divisions, but that's another th 13 divisions we don't need to worry about. And that's probably the most important thing. Good. Because next, we'll start slicing some stuff, some more stuff off of Poland. Poland will be the battleground. Really, the, the war will be defied decided here in Poland, so that's the main idea. Uh, subs? Yeah, do that. I'm making some really crappy subs now so that I can make better subs later. Good, good, good. Ah, uh, you know what? Send the tanks to Lutz. Because once we take that supply base, that tiny, tiny supply base here, <clears throat> these other divisions will die off pretty easy. Very good, very, very good. And then, yeah, you might as well kill off these six divisions, maybe, first. Very good. And then, very good. Ah, you might as well help out. Why not? Let's see, we need 74. We're doing very well on that. Fighters, we're doing okay-ish. We have six strategic bombers, which is nice. Manpower's looking very good. Strategic bombers, where are you? I could really use just one of you. Anti-air upgrades, very good. Um, get some better anti-air on ships, if we can possibly do that. And with that deployed, <clears throat> it is now with recognition that we shall send the first atom bomb to, of course, the enemy of democracy, Poland. Ah, oh, the first nuclear strike. Oh, they capitulated. Holy cow. 
Now that is an atom bomb. So, if that's going to happen, everyone in the north, I don't like doing this whatsoever. I need you to move fast. Uh, actually, you know, let's, re let's redo that re really quickly. Uh, begin to immediately attack, if possible. You're flooding in. Ah, the atomic bombing up Warsaza. Warsazva. Ah, fall of Warsaw. So the first time, and hopefully the last time in history, which won't be true, a nuclear bomb has been detonated in Warsaw as part of international warfare. The unprecedented destruction stands as a testament to the devastating power of this new weapon, which is feared not only for what it can do to its targets, but what implications it has for the one who deploys it and for humanity itself. The world holds its breath waiting for what will come next. Will this force the Polish People's Republic to surrender, which they just done, to avoid further terror, or will it only strengthen the resolve to strike back against those who would resort to such measures? Oh. All I know is that I want to cut off... Oh, not, not right there. Cut off these divisions down here and destroy them. Keep these guys in place. Keep these guys in place. Uh, maybe you shouldn't force attack right now. Just get down wherever you can get. Oh, you actually defeated a division down there. Um, good, good, good. Yes. And note everything else. That was actually really, really kind of surprising to be frank with you. You bomb Poland once. You nuclear strike it once. And they give up. Come on, Poland. Come on. Um, I need these tanks to move here quickly. I don't want to get any of these guys cut off, which, actually, they're probably going to get cut off. So, don't come right here. Come to Bleastok. Bleastok, or however you pronounce that. Good, good, good. Form a front line. Holy, you've actually funneled down here really quickly. That's actually really good. Tankies, get up there, please. Please, get up there. With the power of a nuclear bomb, I split Poland into two. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. <sighs> Sorry for the extra loud coffee stuff. There's ice in that cup. Ice. Oh, we actually connected to Prussia. Nice. Good job, guys. We actually connected to Prussia. Very, very nice. How's Japan doing? They're still doing okay-ish. France really wants to unite the kingdoms down there. Um, come on. Just... Just turn up this way. Let's go this way. Just cut them off. This will be a nice little pocket. Good, good, good. You know what? With the Japanese attacking the Soviet Union, we can divide up the Soviet Union between me and them, which is a great idea. Great idea. Awesome. We're going to wait for these guys to get down here and move you down too. Even though these things take forever to move. But we did it anyway. So, before these guys can move or re and or react... Let's do what we need to do. Everyone come to the middle. Hello, everyone. Ah, crush them. Once we get Plock, yeah, and Allenstein back, yeah, their resources, their supply, they all gonna die. Beautiful. War propaganda, don't really need that region-wide integration. Very nice. Ooh, a sub. Nice, we got subs. Let's see. Oh, the French invaded up here, too. Oh, actually. Oh, I can't... Ugh can't build stuff in my French puppet for some reason. I don't know why. This is disgusting. But this is extremely ripe for an encirclement, too, if I can get down here. I can't build it into the wood. And I put my tanks down here. That would cause so many supply problems. So, I'll probably put them, like, right here or something. Good. Go ahead and crush these guys. Allenstein, yeah, sure, why not? You guys crush these guys, too. Very good. Five divisions there. A few divisions here. Four divisions up there. Beautiful. Um, I really don't need you. Honestly, I don't need these divisions anymore. I'm not going to go to war with the UK. Even if they go to war with me, I don't want to go to war with them. I see no reason to do so. And who's to say that the UK is better than us trying to not cause war? Ah, looks like 20-some divisions, 24-some. Beautiful. Not enough, though. Actually, I can make it cut off right here, maybe. All right, good. Thanks. In the meantime, we'll get this little tile. We're not going to advance here yet, because I want them to still funnel more soldiers through here, if possible. Uh, that's mountains. Definitely don't want to send tanks down that way. But here are some planes. We could strike here and cut off these three tiles. That'll be great. Oh. 20 divisions? Oh, but they're on like a level 6 four. Oh, I still have more nukes. Yeah, go ahead and help them out. That'll be good. Yeah, very nice. And they're dead. 
10 million losses? Not enough. Divisions from the Soviet Union. Defense of Moscow, huh? Good. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and redeploy the line here. So, all the way up top, down to... Probably like right there. Go ahead and reshuffle yourselves, guys. You'll be alright. Probably. Ah, Recon 4. That is helpful. Mechanized. That's also very helpful. Infantry, 1945. Um... Mm, don't really need any of that stuff. We can do some of that, but that won't come in handy too much. Naval stuff? Torpedoes. Yes. How much mechanized do I have? I got 84, so that's not very much. Königsberg. You know what? You're here. Oh, we can find some enemy ships. You know what? You guys aren't great. But I'm still going to use you. Are the tanks down here? Ah, oh, the tanks are pretty much down here. Get that tile, please. Once those guys are gone, then we can make a small little encirclement of 11 divisions. Good. Oh, do I have another... Oh, I do. Nice. Air stuff? Um... Carrier planes? Sure, why not? Awesome! Good, thank you. Good, thank you. Very nice. Awesome. And, you know what, I'll send my tanks to take out Königsberg before I move a little further south. Lviv? Lviv? Uh, Lviv? Oh, actually, Romania in the south has, in, has done pretty well for itself. Okay, Switzerland, you join the Allies. That's an interesting move. I don't trust what they're doing. I really don't trust what they're doing. Uh, I really have no use for you, so. My manpower, eh, that's good enough for now. I, I don't, I don't trust these guys. I don't know what the allies are doing, but they seem very corrupt. They're, bl they're, you know, placing blame on other people for, you know, trying to keep peace. Like, this sounds like corruption to me, but, you know, that's just me. That's just me. Sounds like corruption. Uh, the allies sound like they're on the wrong side of the war. If they wanted to wage war against us. Ah, fifth tank. Yes, 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 yes. Always yes. Actually, these tank divisions, I made them a little, a little bit more special. Yeah, they got some super heavy SP artillery, which I almost never use in my tank divisions. I almost never use super heavy SP artillery or any SP artillery, period, really. So using them is a little bit different for me. Once we have Königsberg back, uh, I'm going to wait for these divisions to stop attacking. Uh, or just, you know, not attack, guys. Pause it. Just send the tanks in first. And then double down with all the extra infantry around here. Guess this will help support our line a little bit more. Good. Crush them. Crush and kill. Good. It's only two divisions. Nice. You don't need to send the tanks in that way. Next up. I'm sure supply over here is going to be terrible if I do anything about that. Um, but let's do it anyways. Can I build anything up here? Ah, uh, Lublin, yes. That'd be good. Uh, more steel? Sure, we can trade that away, maybe. Steel, Ooh, aluminum, yes, yes. Uh, air bases might be a little bit important, yes. Refineries for more fuel and oil, yes. Uh, nuclear reactors? Of course, of course. Yeah, good, good stuff. Good natural stuff. Enemy losses, 7.46 million from the Soviet Union. That's not high enough. And yes, I did notice that the Dutch Empire, the Dutch Rysk, has invaded Crimea. The Crimea is now Dutch. Not Russian, Dutch. Yeah, weird, I know. And that's okay. Cool, the tanks are getting down there. Look at all the forts I built. Holy cow. Oh, and I'm going to move you up here. Ah, fighter twos. Nice. I actually have some fighter twos. Somewhere. Um, There you are. I'm going to deploy you right there because we could use you immediately. Good. Fighter ones. 
that's pretty much all we got. I'd rather have them in the field than just waiting. 95 of those, good. Hmm. There you go. Let time go on. It, research really doesn't matter too much anymore anyways. Uh, go ahead and do that. Very nice. Very good. Uh, yeah, tanks. I need at least... I need at least one of you guys down here. Like, if three of you don't show up, that's fine. But I need at least two of you. At least two. Because attacking right here is going to be a pain in the butt. But I wonder if I could try it. Right, do you have artillery on you? A little bit. What about you guys? You have... Yeah, you're pretty much all the same. Doesn't really matter. Cut these guys off. You know what? If the super heavy tanks don't want to come down here, so be it. I shall keep them in the north. And we shall... Attack right there. And then... Yeah, sure, why not? Advanced light battery doesn't really matter. Good. This is all that matters down here. Um, can I nuke anywhere else? I'd love to nuke somewhere else. Can't nuke the Crimea. This looks like a perfect spot to nuke. But I doubt I have air superiority. No, I do not. I have a lot of planes. That's unfortunate. Good, 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 good. And... All these divisions have been cut off. Beautiful. Now, don't move yet. We must get Rodom, which has 16 divisions, plus 16 plus 9. It's like 25-ish. Plus 29, 27, 30-something divisions. I don't want to add right now. I'm here to play, not to add. Oh, you guys stopped attacking? Uh, I don't approve of that. Please continue. Um, okay, so the tanks are actually moving up there. I thought they were just, like, not moving again. Alright, cool. So, subs. Or my one sub. Oh, we actually have a carrier. Holy cow, that's actually... It's not bad. Uh, you guys. Frame. I need more naval XP. Beautiful. Beautiful. Help them out down here. Yeah, attacking with infantry, not the most optimal thing. That's okay, though. Ah, oh, losses. I love enemy losses so much. Now I'm going to attack here. And then take one off and attack there. And then maybe take one more off and we'll move up that way. And instantly start moving the divisions up that way. And then half of you move up that way as well. I'll be right across the river. German carriers. Very odd to see. Ah, oh, look at all those divisions. I love it. Beautiful. You don't even need to move. Losses? Very good. We definitely want Le Vol. Le Viv. Le Viv. How many divisions are down here? Six? Hmm. Quite the ugliness down here. Get rid of those guys. You should be able to push in there. Okay. Okay, maybe not then. Ah, the tanks are doing great. And then we'll move to Pat Palanga. Palanga. Actually, you three, with divisions moving up right now, that's totally okay if you move that way. And then take you off, and then we'll come to Palanga. Ah, instantly beated. Defeated. Beated. Defeated. There you go. There you go. Resistance. Resistance doesn't matter until the next DLC anyways. No, guys, I don't need your help right now. Even though I would not mind taking your divisions away so I can move some guys around. And we're almost there. The Lithuanian SSR will be defeated soon enough. Um, send one division over here just in case as well. And they're super close as long as they defeat these three divisions. And boom, there you go. Immediately commence an attack on Memel. And from there too. And you can probably attack that way too. Don't want to move too much. Supply is not very good. Uh, supply is starting to become very much of a problem around here. If I attack here, it probably won't go very well. 
Sending the 40 combat with divisions, maybe that might help out a little bit more. Um, send you two as well. Good. Take out that capital. Blom and Voss. Good. Modern ship torpedoes. Very nice. Strategic bomber, heavy fighter, close air support. Those are all nice stuff, but not really necessary at the moment. Engineering. Oh, sure, we'll do that. Why not? Carrier fighter twos. Carrier fighter threes. Follow it up with... This is all done. Let's do improved research equipment stuff. Or conversion speed, really. And how's Mamel? Oh. Nice. Almost German. Once again. Oh, they died. And another capitulation, please. A capitulation story. I love capitulation stories. Next up, tanks. You're going to come right here, and we're going to really slice off the Baltics. Or at least part of the Baltics. Good. And supply. Oh, I can't do anything there because I don't own it yet. Königsberg, thank you for coming back, Königsberg. I appreciate you and all that you have done. Oh, Odessa, yeah, do that. Oh, actually, I actually have... I can do... Uh, Lviv. Levo. Levo. Yes, that area. Do that as well. Our guys are just attacking, their, attacking them like crazy. Oh, we actually took the towel. That's good. Uh, planes. Lots of lag. Naturally. Naturally, lots and lots of lag. Good. Get these into the ground. Come over there. Put you, like, right there. Oh, I forgot you still exist. Yes, that's very nice. Yes, uh, it really doesn't matter to me whether it's, like, um, if they're level 1 or 2. In time, they'll all be fine. Not really worried about it whatsoever. Good. Thanks, you're doing alright. Pretty good. Immediately attack that way. Then take you off, and then attack that way, and then take you off, and attack that way as well. Cool. Let them move up first, let the infantry move up then, and then let you, half of you guys, move on up there, and that would be great. No, thank you, I don't really need you. Thank you very much. Oh, they got some planes around here trying to kill off my boys. No, 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 no. We're making some good stuff. We need more chromium, of course. Improved anti-air. Well, it's a little late for me to put anti-air on now. Um, 100 fighter ones, yep, let's do that. Protect ourselves in the Baltic Sea a little bit. More. Oh, you guys are doing nothing. That's not cool. Air skirmish, good. And we'll do bomber defense. Yes, we are still training in the water. Um, we have not gotten a single point yet of naval XP. Not really. Not anything usable. Hey, some Soviet... Thingy, my bobs. Good job, tanks. Just kind of go right on ahead. It really doesn't matter. The infantry will follow you up. Yeah. If anything, we should take this tile right here. You might be able to crush those guys there. Should be able to. Tanks are struggling a little bit. That's okay. Uh, we made an oh, oh we just made a small little encirclement right there. Very good. And we've taken the supply. Oh, some enemy ships. Good. Do some more of that, you guys. Thank you very much for trying that out. Um oh, this has gotten really bad down here. Do something like that. There you go. Should be able to form a better front line. And we've got better supply down here, which is good. No, thank you. Enemy ships, thank you. Anyone have upgrades yet? No, that's okay. Let's go ahead and move on in. Uh, the Corlin pocket, I love it. Well, actually, Corlin. It's not Riga. Close to Riga. Oh, hello. Advanced light battery, very good. Very good. 
good, good, good. Ah, over Rand Divisions. I love it. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Uh, oh, god dang, the Dutch really love invading like crazy. So beautiful. Oh, we can get this tile. That would be awesome. I doubt we can attack over the river to uh, find success right here. Maybe we can. And then cut off all these divisions. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Please do it. It shall be done then. Awesome. Guys. You know what? Actually, I'm going to take a lot of your divisions. I don't really want to send them over there. Uh, oh, good. The tanks have done a great job. I love these tanks so much. Um, Anywhere special we could attack? Yeah, we'll probably attack Kaunas next. What do we get? Has the UK or the Allies sent any divisions to help out? No, they're at war with the Japanese. That's right. So they cannot. All right. So be it. Oh, my goodness. The Dutch are amazing. Japanese are slowly expanding into Siberia. That's nice. Not much else is going on, which is fine with me. More than fine with me. Did we cut these guys off? No, we were not able to. We were close. We were close, but we couldn't quite do it. This is disgusting. Polish people here? No. Good, good, good. Tankies. Keep on coming down to the line. Well, he will welcome you in. And we can't quite win there. That sucks. Soviet equipment or manpower losses have got to be drastically high. I mean, they have maybe... They have a little less than 3 million in their... Um, manpower, yeah. My brain just stopped. Mongolia is almost dead. They haven't even lost anybody yet. Thanks. No, no, no. I don't want you guys. Experimental rockets. Okay. Let's do some jet engines. Good. Can I attack here, actually? That might prove to be better. Even though attacking them was going to be pretty darn hard. Yeah. Attacking two, from two different sides. Kind of three different sides, but both sides have rivers. This is very difficult to attack. But uh, I could use a little bit of a persuasion technique I learned from other people. There you go. Persuasion works. I love persuasion. Oh my goodness, yes. These guys will die in time. That's good. D uh, Dutch, Dutch Baltic states. Dutch Baltic states. They are gone crazy. Cool. So you got these guys. Follow it up with this, and then follow it up with a little bit of that. Follow it up with an attack like there or something. Go ahead and help them out, and then take half you guys and attack here, and move down. Good. You guys, I'm good. I'm throwing you on the coast. Just too annoying to have you guys here. Spread them out. Spread them out. Fan out. Fan out. Fan out. Um, anywhere else we need to defend... I don't own Gibraltar. Oh, actually down here would be okay as well. I got army stationed all around the place just in case we need them. Oh, actually, I've not guarded this area. That was a bad idea. Nope. Stockholm. Yeah, do stuff, stuff like that. That helps spread our divisions out a little bit better. There you go, guys. You're doing a great job. Yep, just keep taking them away. Ah. Beautiful. Good. These guys will all die. That'll be great. Um, send... Actually, send half of you guys attack here, too. Small encirclement, but a necessary one. Actually, let's send you right here. Good, good, good. 
And... They're almost gone. Come on, someone get in there quickly. Before they can take more divisions out. Come on, move, move, move. Good, you did it. Immediately destroy whoever's here now. Tanks, I'm just gonna throw you on the Coast Guard. Doesn't really matter to me. God dang, the Dutch are doing great. Uh, we might be able to do a full frontal assault. That sounds like fun. And that division has died. Alright, tanks. Next up, another encirclement. Always be doing encirclements. Here, down to like there. I love encirclements. Uh, how many divisions do they have left? I'm sure they have quite a few. Yeah, 486, maybe. They might have less than 2,000. 2 million manpower, I mean. Oh, good. Look at these small guys. Oh, well, those divisions are going to die soon. That's great. Oh, Romania. Thanks. You know what? If you don't want to attack, then you're going to attack down right there. I'd be surprised. Oh, that's actually over a river? Huh. You know what, then? So be it. Don't attack, then. Then we're going to move you south or something here. How about we attack you, like, right in the middle? It's a little better. Throw you right there. That'll be good. My goodness. Even with 11 out of 10 infrastructure, Moldova is still very bad. Good. Build, build, build. Build, build, and then build, build. Ah, oh, very nice. Ah, uh, of course the Dutch divisions got encircled. Oh, of course they did. We've lost a little over half a million manpower. It's not too bad. You guys are in the south. We could try a general push. I don't think we'd be super successful, though. Yeah, we have a lot of divisions around here, so... Uh, just stop giving me these divisions. They're not that good, guys. Japan, how are you doing? You're not doing that much better anymore, anyways. Seven divisions there. Yeah, using the infantry, we should be able to do a number on them. Good, good, good. Send the tanks. Continue to let them go down. I really don't want to try a southern push. I really don't. But, you know what? Just because I don't want to do something doesn't mean it won't work. Move infantry equipment. Equipment production. Good, good, good. Push them that way. If we could just get this god dang tile, it would be so good. Oh, what are you guys doing? Um, you're actually other divisions I have. I don't really need right now. I'm going to keep you alive for now just because I don't know if I need to move them anywhere else, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Let things go on for now. Let our guys get ready to attack. Good stuff like that. Fighter ones, twos. Even more planes. More planes, good. Improved anti air upgrade two. Get even better anti air. Nice. No, 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 no. Good. Tanks should be close to there. Yes, they are. Immediately begin an assault. You c will not stop. I want this supply base so I can build up infrastructure here. Uh, you help out. And then you help out as well. Shell the hell out of them. They got six divisions, really 14 divisions. We're attacking with 10. Not a good idea, but we're still winning a little bit right now, which is good. Well, just gonna keep throwing them on the coast. You make them, I break them, pretty much. You make them, and I break them. Good. Oh, you actually won down here. Nice. Good job. Or up there, I guess, really. Good. 
Don't move. Good. And you know what? I'm going to end the episode here. This is getting a little bit too long for me, but here's the plan. So, between this episode today and tomorrow, I'm going to keep playing until Russia is close to capitulation. Close-ish. So, tomorrow will probably be the last episode in the campaign regarding Democratic Germany and trying to form the EU, which I'll have to use console commands for anyways. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, and I will uh, catch you all tomorrow. And hope you have a great, great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.